Welcome to another CCH Pro System FX Practice Management training video. This video will review the steps required to enter a new employee into practice management. Employees are entered in the administration module under the list section for employees. Simply click the new button to open the employee setup screen. Here you will enter the employee's first name, last name, their address, city, state, and zip, and then enter their employee code. Now, the employee code is a required field as that's the code that the employee is going to use to log into practice management. So be careful here. It can be numeric, it can be alpha, it can be alphanumeric as I'm showing you here, but once you enter the employee code and click the OK button, that field grays out, meaning that you cannot make changes to that employee code. I should also let you know that an employee code cannot be reused for another employee if this staff member were to leave the company. So be careful with that. Make sure you're entering in the appropriate employee code. You can include employee initials if you prefer. Those will appear in various grids and also on various reports in practice management. The employee profile will include up to two different phone numbers if you'd like, as well as an email address. Now we would recommend that you would include your staff member's firm email address so that you could actually email various reports or various program alerts uh, in the system. You can include the employee's social security number, the department that they work in, if you're tracking that, the skill level that the employee is, if you're tracking that, as well as their start date, their term date, and their birth date. The Billing Rates tab will include up to 25 different bill rates if you'd like for this employee. For example, I have two different bill rates here and maybe that might represent a tax bill rate and maybe an audit bill rate, for example. Again, up to 25 different bill rates, you may have a different rate for uh, bookkeeping or payroll or consulting. Feel free to enter those here. And then you can choose to display the bill rates in time entry or grant the ability to change the bill rates or the mileage or unit rates in time entry for the staff member. On the CPA information tab, you can include the CPA certification information, including whether or not they qualify for the Yellow Book credit. You can see the exams they have taken and their CPE renewal date and the hours required to renew their CPE. On the other tab, you will see whether or not they're an active or inactive employee, how many sick, vacation, or personal hours they have available to them on an annual basis, as well as their total banked hours. The buttons down here at the bottom on the tracking button will include their CPE hours they've entered in the time entry module, as well as any banked hours they may have entered. You can view any employee notes that might have been entered in the system. And you can view any custom fields that may have been created for your firm. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. For additional training resources, click the link below to visit our training and consulting webpage.